Hello everyone, my name is Lacey and today I have my wax empties and half empties from the last week to share with you. So let's just start with the half empties. I have one here from Teddy B's in Khaleesi. This is Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, Oud Wood, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Fireside. We had a day where we were supposed to melt a scent that started with a G. Obviously, Khaleesi doesn't start with a G, but that day happened to be my grandpa's birthday, so I melted some scents that remind me of him, and grandpa starts with a G, so I figured it still fit the theme. So I melted Khaleesi in the dining room, living room, entryway. So Khaleesi, to me, smells like my grandpa, so it has a little bit of a masculine tone to it. It's this really, like, warm cozy, slightly, I don't even know. To me, it just smells like my grandpa. <laughs> so this is always a repurchase for me. I love this scent. It performs well. This was poured June 2021, and it's still throwing really well. And I do have a tub of it. Let me just tell you guys that I missed the Teddy Bees pre-order. <laughs> I got my list ready, so I think she released the list on Thursday, I want to say. I got my list ready Friday morning, she opened the pre-order Friday night, and I was like, I really need to pare down my list and decide what I really need to get because my list was insane, so I didn't want to order everything on there, but by the time I got back around to it on Sunday. <laughs> pre-order was already closed so I missed the Teddy B's pre-order and I'm not gonna lie I did cry a little bit <laughs> but hopefully I can grab some stuff in the RTS I was watching Ashley Overly and she said that she just went in and added everything that she wanted didn't think twice and checked out and I'm like man I should have done that but I didn't. So like I said, hopefully I can grab some stuff in the RTS. But anyway, Khaleesi, good performer. I love the scent. I'll always repurchase. And then going with that theme, I also melted this scent, Teslin Road from K. This was a custom of mine. I was trying to make a scent that smelled like my grandpa's house where he lived when I was growing up. And this is like 99.9% .9 accurate to that scent memory for me. So what I put in here was shave, well, I didn't put it in, but what I requested they put in was shave and a haircut, emerald agave, and balsam and cedar. I love all of these scents separately, but I just had a feeling that together they were gonna give me that scent that I was looking for. Emerald agave has this very like damp scent to me. It's a very strong scent, I love it, and it smells damp to me and my grandpa's house always had this like damp wood kind of note to me it wasn't um like dilapidated or anything <laughs> it was a really nice house but it just i don't know it just had this very specific scent to it and i loved it and he also had some bushes outside and some trees outside that i wanted to try to capture in the scent so i I don't know somehow this came across exactly how I wanted it to it just it smells just like his house and it's such a good scent like I feel like I would like this even if it weren't a scent memory of mine I just really like this scent it has that tree note it has that like damp aquatic but there's also in emerald agave there's like a fruitiness but it's more of an earthy fruity to me I don't know but it has that aquatic note to it to me anyway and then shave and a haircut is just shave and a haircut this is so good Ugh. so yeah I kind of melt this sparingly I put this in the kitchen I did three pieces and I put two pieces here in the back room and this will always be a repurchase so I hope she never like gets rid of any of these sense because this will be a repurchase forever and always I just love it I should really get a rose loaf of this and just like melt it through the whole house one day it's so good okay and that's a really good performer too 
The other one I have here from Kay is Normal is Not a Virtue. And this is another custom that I did in my, when I did Practical Magic themed customs. And this is my second, I, I think it's my second or third bag of this one because I do really like it. It's Marshmallow Fireside, Witch's Brew, and S'mores. I think this is my second bag. I love this scent. It's, it's so good. I I don't always love chocolate in wax, but I found that I really like s'mores in wax because I get more of the like graham cracker and marshmallow situation rather than like a milk chocolate kind of scent. So it has that warm, yummy graham cracker marshmallow and then a little bit of a smokiness from the marshmallow fireside and then that witch's brew just it has so witch's brew I think is like patchouli and there might be some cinnamon in there and it just gives it this like witchy depth I, I just love this scent so this is another one that I will always repurchase as long as she has all these oils which I feel like they're kind of standard oils, but you just never know what is going to happen in the oil or the wax world. <laughs> and then I have one last half empty, well it's pretty much an empty, but it's Walnut Raisin Muffin from Scentsy. So I got through a good bit of this brick. I did um, give some of this brick to my best friend when I got it, which is why I melted it the other day. The prompt was to melt a scent that your best friend likes and I just remembered that my best friend liked this one when I got it so I gave her some of it. I She likes all kinds of scents that I have in my collection but I kind of want to work through this brick so I put this through the living room, dining room, and entryway and it was really nice. I do like this. I don't love it so this wouldn't be one that I need to get again. But, oh my goodness, I couldn't get it open. This is when, uh, this was during the like broken brick shipments, like every brick I got was broken. Yeah, it's really nice. There's definitely some cinnamon in here. And a little bit of that nuttiness. It almost comes across a little buttery, but not too much. Not, not like a buttered popcorn kind of buttery. Yeah, and that like raisin note, like when you smell a box of raisins, that's, you get that in here. And I like that. Like I said, I don't love this. I just like it. So I'll be happy when I'm finished this. The only reason I didn't just go ahead and melt this piece of this brick is because my warmers were already full and I really don't like to overfill my warmers because I feel like it drowns out the scent. I, you don't need a ton of Scentsy Wax and Scentsy Warmers most of the time and I find that it can actually weaken the performance if I put too much in my warmers. So I was thinking like I should just chop this up and split it between all the warmers but it would have just been too much so I didn't. But I can just finish this up in the kitchen one day. I'll probably try to do that this coming week so I can just move it out of the collection. Okay, on to the empties. I have some bags here, so we'll go through these first. I have a sample, or I had a sample from K in stainless steel. <laughs> Archer's out there screaming. I melted this here in the back room. It was two little like lamb shapes or sheep shapes or something. Sheep, I guess. So I just did, I have three warmers back here. I just put one in two of the warmers and left the other warmer empty. So I really like stainless steel. It is clean, slightly masculine, and you do get this like metallic tone from it, which is so weird, but uh, I really enjoy it. And I really haven't melted a lot of stainless steel lately, and I kind of want to now since I melted this. I know I have some customs from K with stainless steel and I'm sure I have stuff from other vendors with stainless steel but yeah I actually really like it so and that did really well back here 
but I'm a, I'm a stainless steel fan. I have two here from the bathing garden. This first one is cinnamon dusted maple donut. And I forget, I melted something with this. Like put this in the tea light warmer and I had something else in the ball warmers, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe I'll remember when we get to it. This was good. It was like cinnamon, maple. I enjoyed it, but it's not one that I would need to repurchase. This one, however, buttermint cinnamon rolls. I love this. Um, I think I had either a sample of this last like holiday season or I bought like a smaller shape of it. And then this last, I mean, when I said last, I meant 20. 21. In 2022, I bought this one and it was two little like cinnamon bun shapes. I don't think she offers this in a jumbo clam or not that I've seen. I would probably get this scent in a jumbo clam. I just really, really like this. It's just that sweet, creamy buttermint and then like cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, and it's so good. I don't know what it is about the mint and the cinnamon together in this. I just love it. I love it when it's melting. It's such a good performer. I put one of the cinnamon buns in the tea light warmer and then I, cause one was smaller than the other one. And then I cut the other one in half and put it in the ball warmers. It's like a 10 out of 10 in the tea light warmer and like a seven or eight out of 10 in the ball warmers. That's a really good one. I have one here from Sassy Girl Aroma in taro i want to say is how that's pronounced i'm not sure this is a vegetable root that's popular in asian culture the scent is best described as sweet buttery and nutty i i don't know based on the scent description i thought i would really like this but it was just kind of meh yeah i don't know it's not really buttery or nutty to me. It's just like almost syrupy sweet to me. Not like maple syrup, but like sugary, syrupy sweet. Uh, and it's kind of like nauseating me just smelling it now. I don't know. I, I didn't love that one. It was a pretty good performer, I want to say. It was pretty strong, but it was also kind of like bland. I don't know how to explain it really. It was super sweet, but there wasn't like anything to it, if that makes sense. It was almost just like a liquid sugar <laughs> is what I got from this. So not, I didn't like it. I wouldn't get that one again. The next one here is from Vintage Chic Scents in Hellfire Club. Hellfire Club. <laughs> this is Campfire Marshmallow, Smoked Vanilla, and Red Hot Cinnamon. I do really like this scent. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I could just be missing things. I really haven't been paying close attention to any vendors because I'm trying not to order a ton right now and I've been ordering a lot of Scentsy lately, so I've been trying not to order a ton from vendors at the moment. But I feel like what I've seen from Vintage Chic lately, it's been a lot of like larger shapes, which makes sense because she's going out of business and people want to get a lot of the scents that they like, like a large quantity of the scents that they like. I don't really want a large quantity of this. I would just like a little bit more of it. But if I saw this offered and it wasn't like a ginormous piece of wax, I would probably pick some up because it's I mean this was poured July last year and both times that I've melting it melted it it performed really well if I'm remembering correctly it is like a red hot I mean it says red hot cinnamon it is a red hot cinnamon I like that I love smoked vanilla and then campfire marshmallows I like all these scents yeah and it's just really good I'm I mean, I guess I get the marshmallow. I get really the smoked vanilla and the red hot cinnamon and together they're just really, really nice. It's just really nice. I, I really like this one. And it performs like a seven out of 10, which is really good for vintage chic in my house, in my warmers. So I really enjoy that, especially 
being poured just in July of last year. Some sense from it that she got to let sit for a really long time to get throw from. I feel like this one was pretty good from the jump. So anyway, I do really like that one. The next one here is the Lorax. Here's a Who in Whoville from L3. And this is pink sugar, marshmallow cookies, cotton candy craze, and tinsel trees. I love this. I remember when I got this and on cold, I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this because on cold, I got this. There's no other way to say it. I got like a cat pee scent, which I do get. I think this has, if I'm remembering correctly, I feel like tinsel trees has a citrus in it, like a grapefruit or something. I could be wrong, but those scents can come across to me as cat pee and even now smelling the bag I still pick that up but when I warm this both times I warm this I think it was only twice I really really like this and this last time that I warmed it I loved it so I would definitely get more of this the Lorax here's a who and whoville it was strong it lasted all day it was just really good I don't know what's in her tinsel trees I don't think I, I'm pretty sure tinsel trees isn't just the like tinsel oil that a lot of vendors have I think there's something more to it or it's just a completely different scent in general but anyway you definitely got the pink sugar the cookies the cotton candy and then whatever is in tinsel trees it was just I don't want to smell the bag again but it was really good I yeah I'm gonna need more of that for I don't even feel like I can only melt this at like during the holidays like I feel like this could be a year-round scent honestly it was just really really nice so whenever I see this pop up I might get some I know she just had a restock I know she just had a sale I'm trying not to look but if this were available I would get more of it okay then I melted eight crazy nights and this one, this was fluted tarts. This one is blackberry jelly, fried dough, and a hint of campfire smoke. I can never get anything from this. And I don't know if it's just the tarts. I stopped ordering fluted tarts. I have just noticed that I get different performance depending on what shapes I order from L3. So I'm really trying to stick to the shapes that perform for me. And it's actually a lot of them. <laughs> the bunts and the scoops are probably my favorite favorites but I also like basic Betty loaves bitty Betty loaves uh, puppy packs trig tarts do pretty well bougie bars I like all of those I I never buy clams because I just don't get anything from them and I don't know what it is because I'm assuming it's the same wax just poured in different shapes but for whatever reason I don't get anything from clams I don't get a whole lot from fluted tarts trying to think if there's any other shades it might just be those I don't know but I stopped buying fluted tarts so I don't know if this would perform better for me if I picked it up in a different form like if I got a scoopable of eight crazy nights would it be better because I do like the scent and I know this is like a well-loved scent I don't know I just can't get it to throw let me know if you have melted this and it performs for you and tell me how you do that because <laughs> I've tried it in every different kind of warmer like element warmers ball warmers tea light warmer I just don't get anything from it I don't know so I would maybe pick that up in a different shape size something just not in the fluted tarts okay the last bag I have here is from Lurid Apothecary in Christmas breakfast I actually have this in right now. I don't know if I meant to put this in this basket, but we're going to talk about it. It's eggnog, pancakes, and maple. I mean, I did put it in earlier this morning, so I've been smelling it all day. I just can't tell you like how long it's going to last. This was, or this is okay. I had like a good bit of this left. It was one of the like the break you can kind of see the outline of it like the break apart bar I forget what they were called I had a good bit of it left and I just put it all in the kitchen like 
filled the warmers pretty high which like I said I don't normally do but I kind of just wanted to get through this since she's not pouring anymore I'm trying to work through my lurid and just get out of my collection but I put this in the tea light warmer and the bulb warmers in the kitchen and it's performing at like a medium strength and I mostly am getting pancakes with maple syrup which I don't mind I like it a lot of the time when I melt like a pancake scent all I get is maple syrup but I can actually smell the pancake in this one I just I don't get any eggnog from it so yeah it's okay I can't get any more I wouldn't order it again if I could but it's doing all right okay then I have a couple here from super tarts <laughs> in clans I melted silent night and this is eucalyptus and cranberries I love super tarts eucalyptus it's just so good it's so fresh but earthy at the same time it's I just love super tarts eucalyptus I will always buy super tarts eucalyptus oh my lanta <laughs> it's it's one of my favorite scents not this one specifically but her eucalyptus oil is one of my favorite scents ever the cranberries in this I do get it and it's like a bright like a bright juicy kind of cranberry and I like it I don't know if I need to specifically get this scent again but if it were available and I were placing an order and there weren't like a bunch of other eucalyptus scents I would pick this up again I enjoyed it it was super strong it lasted a full day into the next day it probably would have lasted longer but I changed out my warmers because I'm a wax addict so I change them out daily <laughs> but really really good I I just love her eucalyptus I'm trying to think um, of what my favorite eucalyptus scent from her is and I'm blanking I would have to oh man it's so good it's so good I don't know I don't know what my favorite is I'd have to think more about it the other one here from super tart sorry guys I'm like sitting on this wooden chair and it's so uncomfortable I see a blanket and I think I'm gonna go get it. Okay, I got the blanket. <laughs> the other one from Super Tarts is Proton Pack. And I think one of the prompts, sorry, I haven't been telling you all the prompts, but I think one of the prompts was to melt a blueberry scent. I don't love blueberry. Honestly, I didn't even know if I had any blueberry in my collection. I just, it's not one that I gravitate towards. I do really like what's it called fairy tale pumpkin from Scentsy I really like that scent and I know that's not a popular scent but I really like it and that does have a blueberry note in it to me it smells like realistic like mushed up and like cooked blueberries <laughs> so I like that one and I'm sure I have that in my collection but I didn't want to melt that I don't know I didn't think I had very many but then I remembered that I had the super tarts one proton pack which is blueberry pie crust and whipped cream and I don't love it <laughs> I don't love it I mentioned before that I think my nose has changed and some scents that I used to like aren't just like really off-putting to me um, and it's mostly like I guess those like lactic kind of scents like milky scents or in this case I think it was the pot not the pie crust the whipped cream that was just not good to my nose yeah because when I first put it in like the first hour I was really debating taking it out because every time I came in the back room I was like oh, it kind of smells like vomit in here <laughs> but I left it in and it actually did get better after a few hours so I just left it in the rest of the day it was strong it performed well it will not be a repurchase but if those scents don't bother you those like milky based scents um, and you like blueberry I think you would probably like that okay. the next one is from K and all spruced up this was from the fall winter sampler that they released it's sugared spruce cranberry and sugar cookie this one I liked but I didn't love I like sugared spruce 
I like sugar cookie. I think it might have been the cranberry in here that I wasn't loving. Something was coming across a little chapsticky to me in here, and I think it was probably that cranberry. Um, but it was a good performer. It's just not a love for me, so I wouldn't repurchase that one. I have one here from The Bathing Garden in Chestnut Lodge. So I did this one in the kitchen in the back room in the tea light warmer, the ball warmers, the element warmer back here. Um, and this one, I really, really liked. I really liked this one. I mostly got chestnut and pine. I don't remember what the notes are, but I was definitely getting chestnut and pine while this was melting. It was really nice. Chestnut to me is often just this like really creamy, almost buttery kind of note. And with that tree note, it was really nice. I would get this again. It was a really good performer. Um, like 10 out of 10 in the tea light warmer, 8 or 9 out of 10 in the ball warmers. I really enjoyed this one. I also have a body scrub in chestnut and pine cones that I'm using right now that I'm loving from the bathing garden so I'm thinking I like her chestnut scent. I used to not like chestnut scents very much but I think that's something that my nose has changed on because I'm finding that I'm enjoying them lately. All right let's get into the Scentsy and then we will be done. I melted, whoa I almost dropped it, <laughs> frosted petals. I really, really like this one. I gotta say, out of the four brick scents that I picked up in bars, I wasn't expecting to like this one as much as I do. I was actually expecting to like this one the least. And I'm not gonna, I don't know, it might be my favorite from that collection. It's just so pretty and like creamy. It's like a creamy floral to me. Oh, I really like this one and this lasted a couple days. So downstairs I change out the wax every day. Upstairs I tend to let it go until I can't smell it anymore and this one lasted at least two days. It did change like the scent changed over those two days but it was good the whole time and strong the whole time. It's just this really pretty creamy floral and there's something else in here that I just cannot figure out. But it makes it like so addictive to my nose. So this one I do believe I'm gonna keep in my club. I started a bi-monthly club to try some of the ascents and I think this one's gonna have to stick around. I just, I really like that one, especially for the bedrooms and bathrooms. So next up, well, should we, t no, we'll just, I'm just gonna go in the order they are here. Um, woolly slippers. This one was from the Huga collection. I don't even know when that was, years ago. It was a really nice collection and this one was really good and that's why I still have it because <laughs> I was hoarding it. It's so nice. I, again, I don't know exactly what the notes are in here, but I'm getting like a lavender vanilla or lavender marshmallow kind of vibe from this. What is happening out there? It feels like the whole house is shaking. Yeah, it's kind of like a lavender marshmallow to me with something else in there. I don't know if it's like Tonka. There's something else in here though, but this was really nice. Again, for the bedrooms, really, really nice. And this lasted for three days, I want to say. I'm pretty sure I just changed this one out today. I think that's what was in when I just changed out the warmers. And I think it's been three days. And I could still smell it. It obviously wasn't super strong, but I could still smell it. Oh, I wanted to say I watched... Jessica D's Scentsy haul video. It was her first Scentsy haul. It was so much fun to watch her reactions to the scents that she picked. But she had said that she asked people to give her their honest opinions and honest 
feedback about Sensi and what they really think about it. And she said a lot of people were saying, don't believe anyone if they tell you a scent lasts for days. And there are definitely Scentsy scents that last for days, um, especially, or maybe only if, you're melting your Scentsy Wax in Scentsy Warmers. I'm assuming if you're melting your Scentsy Wax in a higher wattage warmer, they're probably warming off a lot quicker, or a lot more quickly. So, if you're using Scentsy Wax and Scentsy Warmers, there are most definitely some scents that will last you for days. Like I said, I change my wax every day, but in the bedrooms and bathrooms, if I can still smell it, I let it go. And there are many days where I can just keep letting a scent go because it's still throwing. That is not true for every scent, but it is true for some scents, even a lot of scents. Like I have friends and family who will only use Scentsy Wax. They won't use any other wax because they don't want to change their wax every day and they still smell it in their home days later. And I mean, it also depends on your house, the size of it, the airflow, your warmers, we all know this, but just putting my two scents out there, there are scents that perform for days at a time and I leave my warmers on 24 seven. So there's definitely scents that you can leave in for days. I used to only change my wax once or twice a week when I was strictly melting Scentsy. I was, I had like wax Wednesday where I went through the house and changed my wax and then sometimes I would melt it or change it again on Saturday or Sunday but a lot of the time it was once or twice a week until I started melting other wax like vendor wax and then I just started you know I started a ginormous collection and I changed my wax every day okay I've been talking for a very long time but woolly slippers is very nice it's a really nice bedroom scent really relaxing I would get this again if it ever came back. I melted St. Knickerdoodle. This was from the Sense of the Season collection. This is another one that I stuck in a bi-monthly club just so I could try it and see if I wanted to keep it. And honestly, I really, really like this on cold. Love it on cold and I had super high hopes for it. I remember melting this when it first came out and I didn't love it, but I also wasn't really into bakery or gourmand or foodie scents at that point. So I thought, let me give it another try because I melt a lot more bakery now, so I might really enjoy it. Loved it on cold. On warm, it was very meh. It wasn't anything special. I was just like, man, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Cause I just, on cold, it smells like apple pie. It smells like apple pie filling with even a little bit of a crust note with that warm cinnamon sugar. Oh, it's so good. You know what? It actually smells like an apple dumpling. That's what it smells like. It smells like an apple dumpling. I mean, I guess it's the same difference, but to me, this really smells like an apple dumpling on cold, but on warm, it just wasn't giving a whole lot. So I think I'm gonna take this out, which is a huge bummer because I was really hopeful for that one. Had really high hopes. The next one is, oh my goodness, Season of Magic from Disney, or from, from Scentsy, but it's a Disney scent. I don't know why this, why this bar has me so um, befuddled at the moment. Okay, but I love this. I love this so much and I wasn't expecting to. I think even when I hauled this one, I was like, I'll probably end up taking that out of my club. I don't know if I can. It is so good. It was so nice. Um, I did it in the bedrooms and bathrooms and it was this beautiful tree scent with a beautiful like winter berry kind of scent. It was almost masculine leaning. It was so fresh and almost clean. I really, really like this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep this in at least for a little while. That is so good. I think when I hauled this, I said it reminded me of Black Forest Pine. Like the tree note in here reminded me of Black Forest Pine. And yeah, I still kind of picked that up, but this, no, it's so different and it's so good. I 
love this. It performed so well in the bedrooms and bathrooms and I really want to get some more of that. I melted Olaf warm hugs again in the bedrooms and bathrooms. Didn't love this one. I kind of figured I wasn't going to. There's just something in it. It reminds me of vanilla mint and I don't like vanilla mint like vanilla mint from Scentsy. I like vanilla and mint scents in general, but I don't like vanilla mint from Scentsy. And that's what this reminds me of. It did perform better than I expected though. It wasn't as light as I thought it was going to be. It actually smelled, you know, pretty good when I walked into the bedroom on the second day. On the second day, it smelled really good to me, but the first day it was just really like got in my throat and uh, now I'm gonna take that out. I know this is a well-loved scent though, so if you haven't tried it yet, I would recommend trying it, which is why I picked up a bar of it, but it's just not for me. I think this is like vanilla, mint, and like a woodsy note. I, some, I, I love woodsy scents, but sometimes there are certain ones that just do not agree with me. So that's one of them. I pulled out this bar. Look how, can you see how yellow that is? Chocolate coconut cream. I don't even remember when this was around, but I had a few cubes left. I put it here in the back room and I actually really like this. Yeah, this was, <laughs> this was really nice. If this ever came back, I would pick it up again. I don't know what it was because I, I'm not a big fan of coconut scents. And I, like I said, I do like some chocolate, not all chocolate, but this was just, I really liked this. It almost had a bakery tone to it. And I don't know where that, I don't know what the notes are for this, but just based on chocolate coconut cream, I don't know. I wouldn't think like warm, yummy bakery, but it was giving me more like a pie crust or something maybe it's like a coconut like a chocolate coconut cream pie that's kind of what it smells like to me anyway this was super old like I said this is super yellow and I just find that that doesn't always affect the performance or the scent this was really good and it was strong here in the back room so if this ever comes back I would get more of it I melted almond croissant through the dining room, living room, and entryway. I do like almond croissant. It really reminds me of pumpkin pecan waffles. I mean, obviously they're both, they both have a nutty note. But yeah, I, they're very similar to me. Let me know if you get that, or maybe I'm the only one, but they're very similar to me. I do really like almond croissant. I have one more bar of it. I think that bar that I have, I'm gonna blend something with. I don't know what yet because I have a few different things in mind, but I feel like almond croissant will come back at some point and I'll bring back my bar. I don't know if I would stick this in my club, but I would probably grab a few bars of it if it did ever come back. The next one here is caramel chestnut. This was one of the holiday brick scents. This was really nice. I really liked this. It was strong. It lasted for two days in the living room, dining room entryway. Yeah, it was really nice. It has the smokiness to it, but more of an embery, like embers. It, it had more of that ember kind of note to it rather than like smoke. I mean, I feel like when you smell a scent that has embers in it, it does smell kind of smoky, but to me there's also a difference. And it wasn't too like heavy caramel, it wasn't cloying at all. Yeah, this was really nice and I definitely didn't get hot dogs roasting over <laughs> a fire with this one. My husband um, smelled this on cold and said it smelled like hot dogs roasting over a campfire. but. He didn't complain or say anything when it was melting, so I don't think he got that on warm either. When I smell it on cold, I can kind of see what he's saying, but not on warm. 
I wonder how this would be with around the campfire. I mean, obviously, if you don't like smoky scents, I wouldn't suggest that, but I enjoy smoky scents, so I wonder if this would be. Mm, I don't know. This is good. It's going to stay in my club for now. The last one I have is actually melting right now. I don't know why I put these in here. I don't know. Anyway, we'll talk about it. It's maple rum cake. I've melted, melted this before. I love it. I stuck it in, I think it's in my quarterly club and I stuck it in the bi-monthly club that I started. On cold, it's kind of weird. It kind of smells stale. Kind of smells like stale cake. On warm, I'm obsessed with this scent. It's just so yummy and maple always scares me, but it's, it's not scary in here when this is melting. It's just, it's so good. And this time while it's melting, I'm picking up like a really warm cinnamon sugar kind of note with it also. I don't remember picking that up last time, but I like it even more this time. So it's just like this warm, yummy, I don't know, bakery scent. And it has, I get like, I mean, you can see here, like on the little cake, how they have that vanilla frosting. I kind of picked that up like a vanilla drizzle. Ugh. This is good. Maple rum cake. I will keep that in my club. I will melt this one. I hope this makes it into the fall winter catalog, but you just never know. So it's going to stay in my club. And that is everything that I melted in this last week. Got through a good bit. My bin is... I mean, there's a brick in there, but it's pretty full. Cool. So I'm happy to be getting so much moved out and I'm just trying to keep doing that rather than just constantly bringing stuff in. Although I have lots of Scentsy coming. I'm going to do, I'm going to record my flash sale now because it came last night. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't even really remember what I picked up. For the most part, I remember some things, but I'm going to do that now. So Hopefully I'll see you guys there. Let me know what you've been warming and loving this week. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye.